Uh, guys, as we head over to weather this morning, mm -hmm. how you doing on this Tuesday, Leland? Yeah, doing well, doing well. Hope everybody had a good Labor Day weekend. Had some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms out there. The weather pattern, despite a brand new work week for <laughs> us here, for the most part, remaining the same. But when we say remains the same, we're also really highlighting the fact that not everybody gets rain every mm -hmm. day, but we do have rain chances in the forecast six out of the next seven days. So rain wise from yesterday, Leland pretty limited and mm -hmm. exclusive yes. to areas across portions of the plateau where we're seeing more of that. Where we had some isolated showers as well as closer to the Alabama Tennessee state line and some light showers in parts of Williamson County. It definitely looked like it was going to rain for a lot of us, but very low in the way of precipitation, but very high when you look at the past five days this is the past 120 hours. Some locations locations, especially across parts of the plateau, even up and along I 65 going into parts of Kentucky saw upwards of seven to nine inches. So just because areas right around your house didn't have a ton over the past several days, doesn't mean your local river and creek is low. A lot of the lower lying areas, our water resources are quite swollen today. Tomorrow we've got some scattered rain showers back in the forecast, not a washout, and then we've got some drier days trying to move in on Thursday before unsettled weather continues going into the weekend. Right now 70 degrees, little patchy fog in some spots. Leland this morning, as far as those advisories, we have a few closer to the Kentucky Tennessee state line as well as the Alabama Tennessee state line, but very dry as far as the rain currently falling. Uh, yeah, and as you see there, a couple of our southern counties and northeastern counties are under fog advisories for a few more hours. Uh, visibility at times around uh, Cookville, Putnam County, White County are down to two miles at times this morning. Meanwhile, I need to go out and walk the dog. Lucy ready to go courtesy of uh, Sherry Brannon. We've got yellow this morning just because of some of the fog, so be mindful of that and be mindful too at the bus stop this morning and then into the afternoon. Scattered showers and thunderstorms moving back in like the last couple of days. Some places will get some heavy downpours. Others will see little rain. Meanwhile, our highs today, Nashville 86, 80 84 McMinnville, 79 Crossville, 84 Fayetteville, and 87 back over into the Waynesboro area. So kind of keep that in mind if you're thinking about mowing the yard. There will be periods where it will be wet for some of you. A pig day of the week right now coming in for us on Thursday. Our muggy meter today humid. It's going to remain that way for us for tomorrow as well. Uh, meanwhile, there is exact track showing some of the scattered showers and thunderstorms that will pop for us this afternoon. Those will die down tonight and then more back in for you tomorrow. So on our super seven day 86 for a high for today. If you're going to be out and about this afternoon and evening, you'll notice those temperatures trending down to 76 at 8 o'clock and then 74 by the 10 o'clock hour. Our pig day of the week is Thursday then more rain chances move back in. Yeah, those chances aren't going anywhere as we make our way throughout the end of the week and going into the weekend because of the clouds that will be with us. Very mild start in the morning and cool afternoons, but still really humid. So cool might be a little generous. <laughs>